Hello everybody. This is Casey's Craig here to bring you another game. Teleglitch. Really cool looking roguelike shooter game. I think it looks awesome so I want to play it. I've been excited for this. Anyway, last status updates. Report on teleportation experiment error. Report on facility administration AI malfunction. Emergency signal received. Request for military rescue team. Sent. Anomalies. Communication lost. Well, there's some background information for the game if you're interested. And I guess we'll go ahead and play. Let's look at level one. I've never played this game before. We were working on a master teleporter that could transport you anywhere to unlimited distances, but something went wrong, something came through from the other side. Minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly reorganize themselves. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks, but nobody came and I am running out of food. My only chance is using the regular teleporters of the facility to get on the master teleporter and then teleport myself back to Earth. Okay. Well then. Alright, I guess we move with WASD. Probably should have done the tutorial first. How do you pick stuff up? Well, click is punch. Uh, apparently right click is aim. And I'm pretty sure that left click will fire, so I don't want to waste my ammo. There's my ammo down there and health. Alright. Let's see. Uh, shift does that. Not sure what that does. That, I guess it just highlights what you're on. And then the mouse wheel moves up and down. Okay, what is. What are these other. Uh, Q, Q drops. Okay. Now how do I pick it up? E? E does not pick up. And R is probably going to be reload. Well, Alt doesn't do anything. Oh, space bar. Okay. Okay, so. Got all that stuff. Em two empty cans. Uh, explosives and a pistol. Alright. Yes, I'll reload. Yep, it is R. Sweet. Makes sense. Alright, push that stuff out of the way. Now this is a randomly generated map each game, so... Let's see. I like this little viewing system and I love the pixely graphics. It's awesome looking. Oh, well, there's an open field. That are, there will probably be enemies out there. So I'm hesitant to go. I'll, I'm just curious about something. Okay, aim. You can walk. All right. All right. Let's see here. I'm quite sure that something... Maybe not? Really? That looks like something over there. All right. What does this do? A box full of random metal junk. Looks really useful. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see. Enemies. Yep, there we go. Alright, good. Any more? Yep. Alright, got him. Reload. I need some ammo, and I'd like a better gun. Well, there we go. Alright. Alright. I have a monster database, apparently. Let's see what we got. Alright, more guys. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> um, do I really want to go this way? <laughs> Let's see here. Open up. Marked on map. Okay. Let's see. Is tab? Yep. 
tabs the map. Okay. And you can move it with the arrow keys. That's cool. So it's way over there. <laughs> All right, then. Nothing over here. Oh, man. I love this game. It's so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these graphics. It's awesome. It's classic. It's amazing. All right. Small, almost Earth-sized planet with no significant resources, far from colonized play space. Bleh. Planetary stock price, incredibly low, making it a perfect spot for Militech research. Gave an added bonus of reduced distraction for scientists in the facility. <laughs> the planet's surface features extremely high temperatures, deadly radiation, and poisonous atmosphere. This means all the personnel should stay inside the research facility. Exiting the facility without adequate protective equipment is an instantly fatal. Standard supply drops to facility are performed every five months via automatic transport ships. Current status, all operations abandoned due to negative profit outlook. Quarantine done indefinitely. All right. Well, now that we've read through that wall of text, uh, how do I get it off my screen? Okay, spacebar does it. All right. Let's see what's this way then. I think, yeah, I went every way I could over there. All right, let's see here. Come on, baddies. I know you're around here somewhere. Anybody on this side? Come on. Let's see. Nothing there. Alright. No equipment to pick up. Oh, there. There's something here. Ooh, box. Uh, do I... Left. Okay, left click does it. Alright, I have another pistol. Why would I want two? Hmm. Okay. Um. Alright, this is 500. Ah, I see. It's a bigger explosive. It's 500 grams versus 250. Alright. That's cool. I'd like to use those sometime. I'll save them for now. Alright, let's see. Yep. Hi there. Okay. Well, there's a big baddie. Reload. Through the door. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Oh, jeez. Well, there's my first bit of damage. He surprised me. All right. Secret walls. The facility area area contains some rooms that are quickly walled off with temporary materials, resulting in damaged-looking walls that can be destroyed with ranged weapons. Sealed rooms contain useful equipment, including weapons. Like this. So this... Okay, let's try one of these. Uh, hmm. So you can aim it. I'm gonna. There we go. Whoa. Um. Apparently that isn't one of them. Um. Crap. Well, I just wasted an explosive. It looks like a wall though that can be destroyed. Oh well. All right, let's see. Nothing over there. Oh, crap. All right. Come at me, bro. Oh, reload. All right. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Oh, hi there. Jeez. What the heck? Oh crap. Oh crap. What the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? What the heck is this thing? What the crap. Ah. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> oh jeez, I'm out of ammo. All right. Oh, I do have 15 shots with this. All right. Come at me, bro. Seriously. What the heck is that? What is this thing? Jeez. Apparently I'm a really bad shot. Alright. I have two shots with this, and I have some explosives. That's it. I need something. Seriously. 
Give me something, game. Give me something. Alright. I guess I'll go ahead and repair this. Anything around here? If this is, isn't equipment, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, it's not equipment. Uh, the facility AI was originally designed to be nothing more than a good administration system, but you know what's the thing with any intelligence? It evolves. It is unpredictable because it becomes something that it was not before. After a while, the AI learned so much it started helping us out with other things besides administration. Research new weapons, help building robots, even designed architecture for new facility buildings. That's awesome. Um, great. Well, I don't want to go in there. There's... Okay. Nothing in here at all. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Alright. Crap. Uh. Uh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Jesus! Ah! Holy crap! There's void everywhere! What do I do? I'm dead! Jeez, I just beat them all to death! Why didn't that explode? I dropped an explosive. And it didn't blow up. I just beat them all to death. How did I beat them all to death? Alright. Yeah, I've already read that. I just came right back where I was, and I've already been in there. I've got four health. Crap. Uh. Alright. If there are any baddies around here, I'm going to die. Oh, how about this? What about this? Is this one of those things that I can blow up? I'm probably going to die, so I need to test it. Alright. No. You can't blow up those. Darn it. So now I've got two guns with no ammo. Well, two, a two, two bullets. Yeah. That'll really help. I am not going out there. I'm going to go back up here and see if there was anything I missed in this room. What the heck is that? I just beat all of these mutants to death. Don't ask me how. With my bare hands, I just ripped them to pieces. My character is totally badass. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Alright, come on. Only got two shots. Make good use of them. And four health. Alright, any items? 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 Oh crap. Oh. Can meet even the reactivated combatants. Contains artificial small enhancers that make the food extremely desirable for the units. Information that some guerrilla human armies fighting against Militech supplied reactivated units have used Militech, er, Militech canned meat in combination with improvised explosive to lure Militech reactivated soldiers to deadly traps. I request a science assistant to investigate this problem in our product and if needed, change the contents of the canned food or install new hardware or software to reactivated soldiers, enabling them to avoid these kinds of traps. Alright. Well, that's cool. That doesn't really matter to me, though. And I can't touch that. Well, dang. Alright. Aw, oh, crap. Ugh. <laughs> Did you know human brains, the human brain stays alive for hours after the body has already died? They say the length of time before possible death is virtually expanded many-fold and feels like a pleasant, lightful, and long-lasting bliss. You don't care that you're lying on the floor and bleeding empty. You're floating into the light. Huh. I did not know this, but that's pretty cool. I didn't know it stayed alive hours. Accuracy was 40%. Yeah, that flying guy pretty much killed me. I mean, or guy that w looked like he was a bird. Um, uh, maybe... What was he? I don't know. A giant zombie? 
He looked like a bird from above. Alright, well, anyway. I guess that's been my first playthrough. Holy crap. Uh, that was pretty difficult. I hope that I get more uh, items this time, and I think I'm going to take a different strategy to approaching this. Uh, instead of trying to go in any old room and uh, fight whatever's there, I'm, if it's something that seems really tough, I'm just going to avoid it. And save my ammo. I think that's a good idea. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next playthrough.